Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're feeling good. My name is Dina and I'm welcoming you to a new series we're calling Studying at Conestoga. In this series, we're gonna talk about what it is like to study in Canada, what are the professors like, what about the assignments, how are class discussions like, and many more. And of course, we're gonna give you tips on how to be successful in your program. Here we go. Today, we'll talk about two of the most popular assignments that you're gonna get in your program. These are reflections and academic essays. Many students may think that these two are basically the same, but no, they're not. I also had a hard time at first. So here to clarify that is one of my professors, Olivia. The main difference between the two is that a reflection is very personal writing. So reflective writing is asking you to focus on a personal experience or a personal event. Whereas an academic essay is written on a specific topic which incorporates knowledge, information from other sources. So in writing a reflection, we need to look inward, share our feelings and memories, thoughts, personal stories or experiences that are related to the topic. You can also add an evaluation of your experience and how it relates to the theory or topic that you're using in your writing. I always tell my students to follow three key guiding questions. What, so what, and now what? So the what is the understanding of the event. What is it that you're going to be sharing? What happened? And then so what, where you want to then analyze that experience. You want to make sense of that. Why did I feel that way? And then what, or now what, which is your course of action. What am I going to do with this experience that I had? How is this going to impact me moving forward? Take a couple deep breaths and be excited about this personal learning journey that you're about to take part on in your reflective writing. Now, academic essays are quite the opposite of reflections. Here we need to be objective. The writing is laden with facts and examples to expound on the research that you found. Here's an example of an essay. Remember, an academic essay is backed up by research. Here's one. And you can expound on that with more research. Always keep your writing objective. And here's a reflection. In a reflection, we are sharing our feelings, like this one. Now in this part, the writer is sharing the lessons that they learned. Now whether you get a reflection or an academic essay for your assignment, remember that the way to get a good score is to review the rubrics that came with that assignment. It will tell you exactly what your professor is looking for. That's coming up in the next video. This has been Tina, your study partner. I will see you in the next one.